Peace, peace, my purpose people. What's going on with you? Welcome to another day, y'all. Listen, if you are new to my face, welcome to my channel, okay? Please hit that notification bell, subscribe to this channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome back to my family. Listen, what I do here is help you break chains and build wealth in your life and career, okay? And I'm always dropping jewels, so pick these up, all right? Now, listen, so I'm still in and in, in, in my layover process, about to board the plane so I can get to my promised land. Everything is already there waiting for me, and um, it's it's I'm I'm receiving now, okay? And so it's glorious, it's amazing. But I just wanted to come here because this is almost like it. it well, yeah, it's a testimony. Thank you, Holy Spirit, um, because before the beginning of the year, as a matter of fact, while I was waiting for it to turn. New Year's, or maybe it was already New Year's, and I was just like, okay, God, what am I going to do tomorrow, type thing, right, but either way, it was that, that night, all right, so that night, I was getting ready to um, pay, pay my membership on the gym I was already going to, or, you know, get into a new one, so God told me to get to a new one, and showed me the gym and everything, and I was like, God, it all makes sense because this gym is just a straight shot up the street. And the other gym is like, I got to get off the bus. And the bus is really funny. All this stuff. So I'm like, oh, God, I don't know. And then I'm like, God, is it my choice? Not even thinking, being completely unwise. A lot of things were going to transpire within this time frame from, from then to now. I was, I was like, of course it's your choice. Of course God gives you free will. And the two examples that I had, right, the two options that I had, they weren't bad options. It was just that God wanted me to choose the better one, the one that was going to be most conducive to what was about to happen in my life, that I had absolutely no idea that was going to happen into my life. I just needed to trust God on it. And these are, this is a very strong small situation but i'm telling you we do this often in small ways and big ways and this is why it's always important to just go with god because you don't know you have no idea you have to be that baby you have to rely on your daddy to tell you which steps to go which ways to take and then when you're in a situation you have your wisdom of your father so you listen okay so check this out y'all so i choose the other option the one that made sense to me Come on now. I chose an option that made sense to me. Why not? God gave me free will. So neither one of them is bad. I'm going to choose the one that makes sense to me. I don't want to go to that other one. Like, I used to go there a long time ago. Like, I don't even want to. I like going here type of thing. Ciao. Fast forward. Like, three weeks later. Three, four weeks later. Okay. I am. Now I'm in the situation where we have moved out of the house we were in. We are in pursuit of our next home. All of these things happened within the last past like four to five weeks. No lie. Okay. Um, so we're in pursuit of our new home. Three weeks. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're in pursuit of our new home. I find out where we're going to be living at. All of the things are going, you know, happening. The processes are happening the way they're supposed to happen. This one weekend, weekend before last, actually. I um, I take the kids. It was so beautiful. So usually we get pizza every Friday, okay? And I always thank God for that because some people don't have that. Just that small thing is so big for us, especially the little one when she's like, I'm like, okay, we eating pizza tonight. She's like, pizza? It's always just joy. It's just joy. Um, it's, it's the little things for me. And so, but that Friday, God was like, no, don't get pizza. And I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, God, cool. And then it start, mm, glory be to God. The Holy Spirit started speaking to me about CC's. We used to go to CC's every Friday. This is before I had the little one. Like me and the older two, we used to go to CC's every Friday. It was our thing, right? And then it got to a point where we couldn't do that anymore. Funs got funny. And then, you know, um, we we it, not even not even for real funds like transportation got fun. It was a it was a collective of things that made it, you know, and it made us it enabled us from from going to CC's and we had to take a hiatus like with a lot of things in our life. And so but this this weekend in particular, I already seen the apartments. I already went to go fill out that um, application. I already knew that everything was going to go the way that it went. Um, so I was like, let me take the children to go see the property. 
um, brand new. Nobody has ever lived in our unit ever. They are beautiful, okay? And um, so, you know, we go, I don't tell the children where we're going, and God is speaking to me heavy about going to CC's. It's like, God, do you really want me to take them to CC's? And the spirit is like, yes. So I'm like, all right, let me find out where CC's is. So in the area, right? So he goes to the CC's in the area, and it's like it's like five or ten minutes away from where we're living, literally. And it's this whole, you know, mall thing. It's shopping malls all over the place. It's like, you know, it's it's so beautiful. Y'all, when we get to CC's, I'm gonna tell you, go back to the gym in a minute. When we get to CC's, we get in there and this the manager, she's like, oh my gosh, y'all are some beautiful kids. You have her face and she has your face. It's talking to my daughter like, you are just a unicorn. Do you know that? Like, you are so special. Like, you are so, made my daughter cry. She was crying. Like, oh my gosh, like that was so welcoming. And a, a, a black lady. So, you know, that was like the cue, like, oh God, you're here. Like, you are here. Okay, that was so, mm. every time I think about it, it was so welcoming because, um, you know, the things that we have suffered as a family during this time. But anyway, so, you know, we eat, we leave, and we go over to the mall because the children wanted to go and look in Dick's Sporting Goods, not knowing that Dick's Sporting Goods was connected to the mall. So, we had an opportunity to go look at the mall. Before we get there, I see the gem that God told me to become a member to y'all when i say i'm like that's why you wanted me <laughs> to get the membership to this particular gym because this particular gym is closest to where you were going to land us Y'all, I had no idea. I had no idea that I was even going to be in the place that God is getting ready to land us in. Like, it was just, and it's so small, but it's so imperative to why I should have listened to the spirit. And check this out. So, the gym that I'm a member to is inside of the mall. It's not outside of the mall like the gym God wanted me to become a member to. It it is inside of the mall, which means that it doesn't even open until the mall opens. That's not conducive to my lifestyle. Like the gym I need has to be open at wee hours in the morning. <laughs> like it has to. Because that's how that's when I start my day. That's when I wake up and I praise God and I read my scripture and I, I you know I do some scratching, some pre scratching pre yoga. I get myself together, you know, before the sun rises, before I have to wake the children up. You know, I like to go to the gym, then I got my home and then I start the second part of my day. <laughs> and and I was like, God, this is why you told me to get the membership to this gym. Had I only listened to God, I would have been, been in the best shape. Not to mention that even where we are uh, during our layover process, it's one close to here. It's not one of the gym that I'm already mirrored to close to here is one of the gyms that God wanted me to be at anyway closest to here too and it's like if I only would have listened I don't know what made me think that I was going to be in that place longer I I seen you know well well no I have faith and that just didn't come through and God knew that he was going to have to punish you know, some things in that situation with the individual who was supposed to be listening to God, but was not considering my family, um, you know, as staying in that, that particular place. And so God knew, God always knows. And so, you know, I was like, dang, I should have listened. I should have, I should have listened. It was so small, but what if it was bigger than that? Like, what if it was bigger than that? Like, what haven't you listened to? And that God has been telling you, and it sounds absolutely nuts. It's like, God, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That's not easier for me to, to come through Holy Spirit. That's not easier for me to do in this season. I don't think you, God, are you sure you want me? And if you keep on asking the Spirit after you have got, get, um, gotten confirmation, God's going to be like, do what you want. Do what you want. Literally, God will stop answering you on that particular situation, and God will say, do what you want. Because you're gonna have you're gonna have to find out. I had to learn it the hard way. I keep on asking God the same questions. God be like, do what you want. You only want to listen to me anyway. Do what you want. And I don't ever want that situation to happen again. So you know, even as in doubt, like and 
I got to I feel like I have to ask God just one more time. I pray and I repent, I repent in the same conversation because it's like, God, it's just be so many talks in my head. I hear my good talks. Like, I know what the bad ones are. I'm not following the bad. I'm following my reasoning. I'm following, you know, what, I, what, what I'm thinking. Like, what's going to be conducive to me because I don't want to suffer anymore. But then, you know, you have to realize that God doesn't want you to suffer either. So it's like, you know, no, maybe you should listen. So I just prayed that, you know, for God's voice to be louder than my voice because God doesn't operate in chaos. So I had to learn how to, like, calm myself before I ask a question because I'm a... I'm, I'm sometimes in anxiety to receive the answer. It's like, God, and it's like, God's like, yo, chill. <laughs> yo, chill. I, I'm answering you, but I can't. All that stuff you're thinking about, you talk, you saying stuff, you, your answer coming before mine. I don't relax, you know? And so I had to learn how to, like, calm myself and really go into and ask, and, and ask the question and receive the answer so I can hear God's voice, you know? Um, I, I do skills with myself. And, you know, God, I used to use my body because my head was talking too loud. And so, you know, I, I know what it's like, what it feels like to be convicted in your body. Um, but God, you know, in this season, God wanted me to be more tuned into his voice. Um, so it doesn't use my body as much unless it's a real, real situation where God is like, okay, you need me to come in extra time. Um, you know, harder than that. So, and then God comes in and uses his voice in, in my body. Um, but definitely god is like no i need you to hear my voice and i need you to learn how to hear my voice through any type of chaos um that may be inside or, or outside of you and um that's my story you gotta listen to god so listen don't let nobody tell you you can't when god already told you you can make sure that you strengthen your purpose be about your passion so you can live life every single day doing what it is you love to do but most importantly we're created to do y'all listen how you can help me is hit that notification bell subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you can help me help god help this channel grow share this with somebody you know and i'll see you in the next video peace